If you've seen our product review of the Simco software we recently bought, it's helped us be more efficient and clean up a lot of our electronic mess. One of the items we talk about is how much easier it is for us to draw a program into machines. And today, I'm gonna to show you how. So if I'm an operator and I want to start setting up for my next job, I'm gonna need a program to run the machine to make the part. Now, we name all of our programs after the part number that we're making. That information is found on our traveler. So I'm gonna grab my traveler and look. In this case, we're gonna be pulling out program test one, two, three. I'm gonna end up going over to our list of programs in the machine. These are all different things that we could run right now. One of them happens to be a search program to tell Simco what we want. That's this 8001. So we're gonna open that. Inside 8001, there's not a whole lot of code. All this is is a search function to go grab the program that we want. So for Simco to know what we want, we have to tell it. When we send this program to Simco, this xget at the start is a trigger for it to tell it, hey, I'm not a normal program. I don't run parts. I want you to go look for a program so that we can send it back to the operator and they can run parts. It sees the xget and starts reading. Everything after xget should be part of that part number with the exception of some selected characters or you know different types of text. So for example, I put some spaces in here to make it easier for you to read, but Simcoe will read past those. It doesn't care that they're spaces, it ignores them. So our test program is gonna be test one, two, three. We gotta edit. Three. Hit input to save. Now we can go back out to our list. If you wanted to do a quick check to make sure that your saves, your edits actually saved, you can go back in, ours did, X get test one, two, three. Now we actually wanna send this message out to Simco and tell it what we want. To do that, we go to IO. We use an RS-232C port hooked up to a Moxa box to send and receive electronically so that we don't have to move sticks back and forth. So we're gonna start with RS-232C. We're gonna click output. This is a list of all of our programs. Again, we want to send 8001, which is our program call. So now we're going to output the program to tell Simco, hey, this is the program that I want. So we're going to type in our search program, 8001. I'm going to hit input. You should see it highlighted. Now, once I hit input, I have a certain amount of time, once it completes its communication, to go and input what it found. Put again, communicating, output complete. Input, input. I did that relatively quick because we have a five second window to draw in what Simco went out and found with our search query. If you notice, it was communicating and now it says input complete. If we go back to our list of programs, you'll find that the one that we searched for, test one, two, three, is now in there. I don't want to make it seem like Simco is specifically for Swisses. You can use it on all different types of machines um, and you can use it in different ways. So the fact that we use xget as our trigger for Simco to go searching. You can customize that. The steps that we went through to actually send and receive programs, it might be different if you're running you know, a Haas Mill as opposed to a Citizen Swiss. Just the fact that we like to send things electronically um, over the air rather than just use a stick. Those are all customizable options that if you work with your Simco representative, they can help you find the best solution for you. This is what's working considerably better for us compared to what we were doing before. If you're strongly considering changing the way that you send and receive programs or possibly edit, I would take a strong look at Simco. They have helped us clean up so much of our electronic mess and we operate way more efficiently than we did before. If you have any questions specifically related to Simco, go ahead and drop a comment. We'll try and answer them. Otherwise, like and subscribe.